Oh, that's not good. Letting your screws. Always keep your screws on hand, bro. What we're going from this to this. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button for more juicy vlogs. Woo! So in this vlog, we'll be doing some battery cable management. We'll be cleaning up the accessory cable because right now it just looks so jank. We'll be using a very custom battery terminal bar style. What I like about this plate is that it has different holes for your many different cables running from your accessory. And then what's so special about this plate is that it's compatible with the Odyssey battery 1200 series. All of that accessory stuff, compressors and everything. That Odyssey battery really helps me out. So if you guys are looking for a new battery, consider looking into the Odyssey battery. All right, let's get started. Woo! So the first thing you need to do is that you need to remember your radio code. So right now I'll be undoing the battery poles, the cables, but make sure you know which one is the positive and negative for all your accessories. It's gonna be a headache if you don't. Oof. So to keep things simple, I'll be marking off the negative portion of the cable with a tape so I know which one is which. So I'm just gonna be undoing these bolts here. So you undo your positive side now. Oh man, look how many cables on this one. Ah. So we're gonna be removing the post, adding the rubber washer, then we're gonna be adding the plate. As you can see, this is the post from the Odyssey battery. There's an M6 right in the middle here. All right, the reason why I'm gonna add the, the spacer is that how the battery is offset, simply as getting a razor tool. So actually, I'm just gonna eyeball it here. This is a one inch spacer. Ooh, lovely. So I'm gonna be putting the washer in here. You're gonna put your plate in here. With this setup, I had a problem with the post on how to connect it with the OEM. I was looking for this copper post similar to the Odyssey one here. I, I couldn't find anything that would fit the M6 with the 38 screw. So I went ahead and just used a generic post. Um, eventually, I'll make your own a post at the inside joke. Yeah. So simply putting it like this here so that your red cable will just go over it. So gonna be doing it on the other side as well, the negative side. So, so the next step is uh, installing these uh, thread adapters here. Simply as a screw reducer. The gym machine works plate is a uh, 3 8 and this right here fits in a quarter. One tip with these guys is that it's very tight fitting. Feels like you're gonna strip the plate, but one tip is to lubricate it with a silicone lubricant. This is what I use. Simply just spray the screw adapter and the plate. All right, now we're gonna be tying in the power cables from the accessories. So I'm gonna just show you guys one side and you're just gonna repeat it throughout. Just gonna do hand tight for now. So basically that's it. I'm gonna tie in everything all together. I think it's much more cleaner now. What do you guys think? So now I'm just gonna be hooking up the side post here. As you can hear, it still powers on. That's good. Show you guys the results. So that's it for this DIY organizing your battery cable and power cable accessories. So as you can see, it's very clean looking. These plates are great. I'll leave everything in the description box. What you could do differently is mount the rubber spacers inside the mount with the, with the cavity, but with this setup here, it's clean as well. It can't go wrong with either way. One major tip for this DIY is to uh, lubricate your screw reducers. 
That's it. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hee ha! Out! Next week, baby, we're gonna be putting TD Man suspension parts. So you guys gotta stay tuned on that one. All right, this is out time. Hee ha! Out! All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. And don't forget, guys, to make sure you guys hit that like button. Take the time to comment and subscribe to the channel. Yeah!